Check Florence officials have been growing for decades is now close to the finish line. River Heritage Park was drafted as a master plan more than 20 years ago. The park now set to open to the public in May. WFA 48's Aria Pons live at that park. Aria, you got a sneak preview earlier today. What do officials expect once they open May the 5th? I did get to walk the mile and a half trail earlier today. Officials are hoping that it really truly highlights the pure history that Florence has here. They're also hoping that it brings more growth to their population and their tourism. A plan decades in the making is finally coming together. What started as a master plan has become a park and trail for the city of Florence. To see the start of it on a, on a piece of paper as a plan and then the finished product is, is really, really humbling. Parks and Recreation Director Bill Jordan says the River Heritage Park will be ready in less than a month. Jordan says the park is a mix of everything Florence is famous for, music, Wilson Dam, and the Industrial Revolution. So to have a trail, people can get out, bike, walk, um, bring a family, I think along the river is really, really special for our community. Officials say they wanted to weave pieces of the past into the park to make an interactive trail for the public. There's some of the places that as we were coming down that I told you, you know, some of the remnants of where the dam was actually built. So there is history to be told here. There are also new features such as a walking and biking trail, a waterfall and an amphitheater, but they won't stop there. I hope someday, just so you know, that we'll be able to take this all the way to McFarland Park. Mayor Andy Betterton wants residents to have more green space to escape to. He also says green spaces like these tend to bring growth to a city's population, their tourism and their economy. This opens up us up all the way across the northern part of Alabama. So uh, I'm just I am absolutely uh, delighted and and I've said many times, wow, this I think this puts us on the on the map. The park won't officially be open until around May 5th when they have their grand celebration. Jordan says as of now, they don't really know what times the park will be open, but he thinks he'll base it on the other parks around the area. So probably sunrise to about 10 p.m. Reporting live in Florence, Aria Pons, 48 on your side.